Hello, my name is Nolu Sindiso. I'm from South Africa. I'm currently based in Shanghai, China, and I work as a kindergarten teacher. On Wednesday, August 23rd, during a disagreement, the HR manager at my job, a guy, punched me on my face. After he punched me and I was screaming, trying to get him, trying to get out of his office, he pushed me down on the couch, telling me that I needed to sit down. I screamed and I was trying to get my phone so I can take pictures and videos of what was happening. Instead, he grabbed my phone and said he didn't have my phone anymore. I don't know how I got out of the office, but somehow I got out. And I was running in the passage of this kindergarten trying to get help. There were various women there. All of them just watched and did nothing. I managed to run to the stairs, but by the time I got to the stairs, he was already there. And he was preventing me from going past him. I was screaming, but he was pulling me, preventing me from leaving. I don't know what came to my head, but I thought about a different exit, and I ran towards the different exit. But he was chasing me, and during the time that he was chasing me, he was singing a song, humming a song, as though to distract me in case so that I can fall and he can catch me. I managed to get out of the building, and there was another lady outside the building shouting for the. For the security's officers to close the gate so I wouldn't get out, but what happened is the security officer made a mistake. Instead of closing the gate, he opened the gate, and then I ran, managing to get out. By the time I got out, I had no shoes on, no socks on. They had taken my phone. I had no bag on. It was just me and nothing on my hands. I didn't know what to do, so I started walking on the streets, and I came across a young Chinese lady. Asked her if she speaks English. And she said yes. I asked her to call the cops. She called the cops. The cops arrived, and we went back to the kindergarten. When we arrived at the kindergarten, they had gathered everything that belonged to me in a table, telling me that the reason why they were preventing me from leaving is because they wanted me to calm down so they can call the cops to resolve the issue. It, despite the fact that I wasn't feeling safe, and that is why I wanted to run away. Then the guy who had punched me told her. Told the cops that he did not punch me; that I hit my eye on the couch. I asked them to release the CCTV footage of the building while I was running, and they said they don't have it. We went to the police station. At the police station, the vice principal, who saw everything happen, said that she didn't see anything, and that when this guy might have hit me, she was on the phone, so she didn't see anything. When I arrived there, the cops basically told me that my visa is expiring next week, and I do not have proof that this guy has hit me, and therefore I needed to settle. Feeling like I didn't have a choice, I ended up settling for compensation. I am making this video because. I'm making this video because there are so many of us out here who are suffering under the hands of our employers, who continue to disobey the law and treat us very poorly. And I'm also making this video because I feel very powerless in this situation. They told me that if I talk to anybody or go to the media about the situation, then they would sue me and I would have to go to jail or get deported. They also threatened to put me on some teacher's blacklist in China so that I would never get a job in China. They also refused to give me any documents that would allow me to work anywhere else in China during this moment. But I'm not okay with just keeping quiet and pretending like this is okay and there's nothing happening. And I hope if you seeing this video, you pass it to as many people as possible, so that people know that this happens to me. This video was posted five days ago by a YouTuber who goes by the name Time Joon. That's written in Korean with just Nolu. And um, in the comment section, she has a pinned comment there that says. To so those who have asked me to contact my embassy, I did. 
they we are the first number I called when this happened, but sadly they don't even have an emergency number. So I wasn't able to get hold of them that day. And when I finally did, they told me they would call me back and never did. Edgar, in bracket a famous lawyer in China, knows about what happened to me. I won't even get into that part. Yes, there are two sides in every story, but I can only share mine. I feel feel free to reach out to the kindergarten for the years because I'd love to hear it too. I'm okay and I am safe. As at yesterday when I filmed this, that was the only video she had on the situation on her page. But now I'm editing, so I decided to go back to see if there's been an update. And I did come by a second video that's been uploaded. She posted 15 hours ago last at when I'm editing this video, 11.23 a.m. Nigerian time. It's an audio recording that contains the exchange she had between the vice principal to the left as displayed on the screen and the HR guy to the right as displayed on the screen. Really? Okay. It's my passport. Yeah. So this, and this is my yeah. This is not your document. This is my this document. Is, this is not okay. your document. You can show all you want. This is not your documents. This is not your documents. Actually, come on. What? Don't. What? Okay. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave. Okay, then you no, can... no. What? What? I'm trying to be really yes, nice to you. Yes. Then let me leave. Let me leave. I no, can't no, have no, you no, leave no, with no, this come come, 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 come. You are touching me right now. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Come Don't come okay, touch you... me. Don't touch me. No, 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 this one is not okay. No, 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 okay. You're touching me right now. You're being violent right now. We literally could hear her scream at the end there. I'm guessing that's the point where he hits her on her face. Hearing her scream like that really made my heart sink. She has a pinned comment under this video of the audio recording and she says in that comment, I have left China, hence I am now able to talk about this without fearing for my safety. Yes, cops were called and they refused to open a case saying I don't have proof. I have voice recordings of this. Yes, I had tried to contact my embassy. While I am not a vlogger, my channel is not limited to documenting my daily life. Instead, I share moments from my life that have deeply impacted me and encourage introspection. Out of my 28 videos, only two touch upon my personal experiences with us. My content includes a diverse range of topics encompassing both personal stories, informative discussions and more. I encourage viewers to explore the entirety of my channel before forming judgments based on these two specific videos. These videos are just a part of my broader message intended to inspire empathy, growth and resilience. I value the feedback and suggestions of my audience. If you have ideas or topics you'd like me to explore in future videos, please don't hesitate to share them in the comments or through direct messages. Your input plays a crucial role in shaping the direction of my channel and ensuring that my content resonates with your interests and needs. In summary, I hope that by delving into the various videos on my channel, you will discover a rich tapestry of content that goes beyond any single narrative. Let's engage in constructive conversations and continue to grow together as a community that appreciates the complexity and depth of life's experience. Experiences. She also changed her pinned comment in the first video where she shared her story with us and I want to read these comments to you guys as well. Her comments read, I vehemently condemn any form of discrimination or hatred directed towards Chinese individuals. I had the privilege of relocating and having the ability to share my story while many of my Chinese colleagues kept quiet about their mistreatment. Workplace 
has become normalized in various regions of China, including the highly developed city of Shanghai. While I acknowledge that my own racial background contributed to the mistreatment I encountered in my previous job, it is imperative to note that race alone did not serve as the real motivating factor for such mistreatment. Part of mentioning that Mahesha is Chinese was to also highlight the normalization of in Chinese workplaces. I really want to read this comment to you guys because it's her story and I want to make sure that I'm sharing her story exactly how she wants this story to be told. And another reason why I read this comment is because from this comment we can see that she obviously do not want to be seen as just the girl who got in China because there's more to her and there's more to why she created her platform. So please go show sis some love and support her content. My heart breaks for her that she unfortunately had to experience this but I'm very glad that she was able to come out of the situation safely. Hopefully with the way things are going and how viral this story is now that the name of the kindergarten is out um, I'm hoping there's going to be some, you know, pressure on the side of the school to do something, to do the right thing, you know, make sure that the HRO guy gets to pay for his actions. And also make sure that moving forward, things like this don't happen to their workers anymore. Because it's crazy how from the way she spoke of it, it's like it's a normal thing there. People continue to do this to other people and they get away with it. That's not supposed to be. People should not be allowed to do things like this and get away with it. It's just not right. Down below in the description, I have linked her channel. So please go show sis some love, like I said earlier. And also please share this video so, you know, more people can see this. She did highlight the fact that high race also played a role in the mistreatment that she unfortunately experienced from that school. Which is why I want to close this video by saying that it is very unfair that we as African people are very loving and accepting of everyone but the direct opposite is the case when it comes to how these other groups of people, other races of people see and treat us. Literally any other race can come on this continent and get a job, earn money, bring their family even, live here peacefully and they will be treated with love and respect but we cannot say the same thing for us when we go around to their places. It's unfair that globally we get treated how we don't treat none of these people. And it's on that note I want to end this video. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, please do share this video and go to Sis channel and support her. And um, yeah, let me know down below in the comment section what your thoughts are. And of course, as always, I will see you guys in the next one.